Welcome to this new add-on spotlight. In this add-on spotlight, we're gonna look at the fly-by-wire A32 Annex aircraft, and especially the latest version, which is version 070. Uh, there are some interesting changes uh, to this one, and one of them is, uh, I would say, found on the uh, left side, which is the flypad, which has been updated to flypad OS 2. It's a complete uh, new layout as you can see, right? So you can see the, the dashboard here, right? So you can see the uh, the aircraft information as soon as the aircraft is switched on. You can see the flight plan. You have easy options to import it from SimBrief. And the good thing is that you can also connect it to the MCDU. So you can either program the flight here by importing it here and then link it to the MCDU or you can import it from the MCDU and then import it here, whatever you prefer. Uh, there's a nice map which you can uh, zoom in and out, uh, which shows you the uh, current location. Uh, well, other things, uh, yeah, this is also different, right? So they changed the dispatch menu completely. Do you now have the ability to say choose two different uh, engines, or and this is the engine there, which is by default. It's the custom uh, LEAP one A. 26 and has a custom performance model uh, you've got the OFP and the OFP is simply the fly plan which you can create in SimBrief right so in SimBrief you can generate a fly plan and then you can import it here so you can also have a look here so you don't have to switch between screens or switch between flight simulator and your browser then of course you've got the view uh, the view will tell you how much fuel is in each tank right so it's good and the nice thing is that you can uh, adjust the view. So for example, if you want to review, uh, it shows here ready to start, right? Uh, you can either do it instant, then it will change it directly. You can do it fast or you can do it real time. And by default, it's set to real time, which results in that it really takes, I would say the amount of time it normally takes to review the aircraft. So cool feature. But if you're in a hurry, you can still change it. Uh, then we've got the ground options and the ground options are simply okay hey i want to request the packs right i want to request the uh jet <laughs> if one is available <laughs> which is not here right because I'm, we're not standing on the uh uh standing standing with one of the gates you can open the door uh request baggage uh request external power easily by pressing the buttons here uh, keep in mind that some of those functionalities might not be available. If they're available, they will switch to green. So we can switch them off because it uh, will not work uh, as we speak. The other thing is that you can control the pushback uh, talk from here, right? So there's no need anymore to uh, ask GHC continuously. You can simply use these buttons here. Then you can go to the performance screen and the performance screen allows you to uh, calculate the top of descent and you can calculate it or you can uh, fetch it by using the sim and the same thing can be done for uh, landing right so you can calculate uh, the landing uh, speed and you can get the meter information if you of course have a flight programmed you can say okay hey i want to go full flaps or uh, configuration three uh, it will automatically load the runway uh, slope and it it will come up with, uh, I would say, an approach speed, which is recommended for you. So all nice things which have been added here, uh, which was, uh, most of them were not, I would say, in the Flypad OS uh, 1.0. Then we've got the uh, special screen here, which is only available uh, in combination with IVA or VETSIM, uh, when they're selected at S. 8 is an 8C source uh, in the settings page and the settings page can be found here right so you can go to the uh, aircraft com or sorry sim options uh, no 8 DSU AOC and there you can change the options to avow or fat sim and then they will use I would say the cool things which you can use here here's also where you can configure the uh, sim user sim brief username as you already can see uh, come on go away uh, flypad, the brightness, 
uh, you can set it to automatically or you can uh, change the brightness or decrease the brightness uh, audio there's some aud ne new audio options here the ptu audible in cockpit uh, it's unrealistic so it switched off by default all the other options like the exterior engine and the wind interior are available and enabled uh, sim options here you see the same thing as they did with the refueling so the ADRS alignment and the DMC self-test you can either set it to instant fast or real in case of real it takes I would say longer to prepare for example the ADRS and I will show you that in a few uh, minutes uh, just as with other add-ons there's now possibility to allow you to use the keyboard and uh, to would say push in the keys in the MCDU again that one is also uh, disabled if you switch it on it will be enabled for the time you configure here so that's 60 seconds and then it will uh, I would say decrease or disable sorry uh, weights and pack signs you can change them if you want and then you've got the thrust uh, acceleration height and the engine out acceleration height you can configure them here one of the important things is this option uh, the detents which is the uh, j joystick i uh, recorded a previous video about that you need to configure it from now on because else your joystick might not work as you would expect right enough talking about the ipad or ipad fly pet os <laughs> so let's go to the uh, rest of the aircraft uh, let me oh, first want to show something else. so one of the things that they i would say brought some wearing right so it looks like the, the aircraft is really used so it's a little bit more realistic uh that's cool um i would say nicer more realistic like okay hey if you compare it with the a32 nx which is the default one uh or the a32 neo sorry uh, from a, a sobo then you don't see the wear a lot so that's i would say yeah not so nice as it is uh, one of the other things they did is they improved the soundscape right they completely implemented an entire uh, custom sound pack with 100 percent custom samples which is cool uh so let's uh let, let's start doing some stuff right so batteries are already on we can switch on the uh, external power uh, for some reason uh, the batteries you need to make sure that the lights are off they it won't show that they are on so be aware of that and then we can of course also uh, change the APU and these are the ADRs right so if you're not aware of what the ADRs are you need to use them uh, for navigation purposes uh, so what you need to do is switch them to on and in that case uh, it will i would say show you the progress but to show the progress you need to change the uh, brightness of the displays else you won't see anything uh, let me also change this one uh, the brightness or sorry the alignment can be seen here right so here it says ir in align which means that it's currently aligning uh, that will take some time uh, i think mm, 10 minutes or something and then they will be fully aligned uh, as you can see using the latest release there are some issues with the brightness of the so you need to switch on the brightness or turn up the brightness come on stupid yeah that's what i wanted so i'm gonna switch off the atc out assistant option because i don't want that person to talk for me except when i'm playing on my xbox because then it's a relaxed option because the xbox using an xbox controller it's i'd say kind of hard to manage all the things with that um other than that um uh, they did a lot of work which i can't show you here right so they implemented the custom flyby wire autopilot auto trust systems and they i would say created it from the ground up so that's that's really cool uh so they're really i would say improving the aircraft uh i would say version of the version uh and they did the same thing for the automatic uh, pressurization hydraulic and ADR systems right which are now also completely uh changed um if we're looking at uh these options there's not much change here i think they made some new uh 
uh, options here, right? It shows you green la uh, or red if it's not correct, if it shows you green if it's correct. So they, they added some new uh, statuses here, uh, which weren't there in previous versions. Although some of us might already have them for a while because you might have used the developer version. That's also the one I'm using. Uh, always love to uh, test new functionalities. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's that's it for now, right? So a lot of new functionalities have been added to the uh, to the version 070. Uh, all kind of cool things which make it even more realistic to uh, fly with this aircraft and even nicer to fly with this aircraft. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.